Hi, welcome to Floral Friday. I'm Jenny Martin, ethnobotanist. This is Bella Rose. And I'm not quite sure if you can see behind me, but there is lots of a plant called Lesser Celandine. So Lesser Celandine, Ficara verna. Ficara meaning fig-like and verna meaning of the spring or spring-like. And guess what? The flower is flowering in early spring. It's a really pretty little flower and it's a flower that Wordsworth wrote a poem to, to my little celandine, and there is a very famous song called My Little Celandine, Sweet Comic Celandine, only joking, that's some, a valentine I think. Anyway, so Lester Celandine, if you look at it really close up, what you will see is the petals are <laughs> just, <laughs> okay, I'll take, so if you see the petals are they look like buttercups, and that is because it is in the buttercup family. The, the, the petal, so the petals sit below the ovary, so, and the sepals sit below the ovary. So they're underneath and then the ovary on top. There's lots and lots of stamen, or lots, and lots and lots of stigma, which you means you could have confused this also for rosaceae, for the rose family, which have lots of stigma, lots of stamen. However, in, in the rose family, the petals and the sepals often sit above the ovary, so the ovary is beneath the petals and the sepals. The leaves are chordate, which basically means full bumps at the bottom, if you like, and a deep groove in the middle, so that's chordate. They have no teeth, the, the leaves have no teeth. And one thing to think about with the lesser celandine, which is quite interesting, is the root-like structure at the bottom of the plant, so that looks like figs, used to be, it used to be believed that they are very good for piles or hemorrhoids, uh, which links to something called the doctrine of signatures. So the doctrine of signatures is a type of modality in medicine that goes right way back to Dioscorides and Galen, where there was a belief that God had sent every plant, a, a plant for every ailment that we have as humans. And the sign of that plant being useful for us is a visual sign. So if a tree, when you cut a tree, if the sap or an exudate is bright red, maybe it's good as a blood cleanser. Or if a plant like the saxifrage, the stone breaker, saxi, stone, fragile, breaker, if they, those plants, they grow, for instance, at the edge of cliffs and they're able to get their roots deep down into rocks. So it was a belief that they would be good for, for instance, breaking up kidney stones. So with lesser celandine, with these little fig-like structures that grow in the ground, there's belief that they look like piles and therefore it's, one of its common names is pilewort and hence it being used for piles and hemorrhoids. Now, it has been shown that it does have astringent properties, this plant, so it may well be good, useful for that condition. Please obviously check this out at home before you try it. But um, there ha the, the doctors and signatures and plants visually having a cue to how we could use them has been debuted. It doesn't actually have any correlation necessarily to the actions of that plant. However, um, you know, there's a lot that we still don't know about with Western medicine and who knows what might be proven in the future. What is known is these visual cues are very good mnemonic, if you like, for remembering the name of something. So if the leaf looks like lungs, or there's some markings on the leaf that like, look like lungs, then maybe then lungwort, or like if you do see the, the, the um, um, little piles, if you like, at the bottom of the cell and diamond, pilewort. So it has been shown that it's good for that. So keep an eye out for Lester Celandine. It's a really lovely little plant. Um, like I say, growing in damp, wet places. And in America, unfortunately, it's considered a weed, an invasive weed. But over here, it's a native plant. It does grow more vegetatively. It does spread vegetatively, but it is also a food source for um, bees in, in early spring. So Lester Celandine, Bella Rose, and uh, we're going to give for a walk. See you soon. What do you think?